Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm using a Kipper card to ask the question, how do I improve my current situation? How do I improve my current situation? And so go ahead and choose between one, two, three, four, and five, and you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen option one, Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, um, regardless of the situation that you have at hand, the suggestion here is to be able to resolve it with the help of someone and to be able to do that by trying to remove the obstacles before you kind of move forward. The advice given here is to be more consistent. It's to be um, more disciplined in the manner in which you go about attacking what you need to. So once again, this could be related to something with regard to your home. It could be related to an official matter. It could be related to love. Um, but regardless of uh, what it is, the way to go about it is to seek assistance to remove the initial obstacle that you face and then to go about it in a consistent manner, in a disciplined manner, and to get the help of any um, a kind of um, official uh, um, support that you may need, perhaps from your local council or perhaps from your, your city or whichever institution that you are engaged in to get the support from this institution or help because this is the way that it's going to go forward. The um, the What I'm getting here is that you're not going to be able to get past this. You're not going to be able to resolve this without having the support that you need from whichever admin, whichever bureauc bureaucracy uh, that you that you need. This is an essential part in order to do that, in order to, to get that, um, to, to have the, you know, to comply basically with whatever it is that is required from you. But in order to do that, you need to be consistent and to be disciplined and you need to seek the assistance of someone who's going to be able to help you to remove an op the obstacle. So it, whatever it is, it needs to be, there, there is an obstacle that needs to be removed and you can't do this by yourself. So if you're feeling quite helpless uh, given the situation that you're in right now, you need to understand that it's it's normal to be in the state because you need the assistance of another. You know, it could be a legal assistance that you need or it could be uh, somebody who's just going to help you to remove something. It could be, you know, you need a plumber or an electrician or something like this. It doesn't actually... Um, matter what kind of assistance you need but you're going to need to employ the assistance of somebody else now what they show me as being um it it what they show me here is like it's on the way it's on the it's in the way of your prosperity or it's in the way of you feeling comfortable it's in the way of you feeling secure in yourself and i think here that um you know, sometimes you need to actually fight for what it is that you need. And the way to do so is, is to employ discipline and to employ a strategy as to how you're going to go about doing this. And so that's the other message that's coming across here that, you know, instead of um, perhaps I'm not saying that you're doing this, but it, this is the advice. Instead of moping about uh, thinking about how you're going to resolve this matter, take action, take strategic action and be disciplined and consistent about it. So that that is really the advice given here. I see also that there seems to be a situation where uh, there could be something that's bigger than you could be something that's out of your control that you can't change and that you're wondering how is it that you can go about doing this what is it that you can do to to create uh the, the change that is needed and uh, once again you're going to need the help of another or others in order to do that so i would suggest that you 
uh, take some time to figure out how it is that you're going to employ the help of another. And uh, please uh, pardon the, the background sounds. If you can hear that, it, it is there is a construction taking place quite near to where I'm living uh, at the moment. And it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I don't have another time during the day that I could record this. So apologies for that background sound. Um, I think also that, you know, you might find that the obstacle comes in a manner that it looks like it can't be dismantled. It comes to you, it, it appears as if it's insurmountable and that you, you can't really do anything about it. You have to just submit or comply. But this is not the case. This is certainly not the case. You can actually, there are ways to come um, around this and about this and you are not threatened uh, you might feel threatened right now they might give you it whatever it is the situation might give you a feeling that you are threatened but it you whatever you hold dear to you is not really threatened there is a way about this you it can be stopped it can be changed and the solution to it is to be strategic to be disciplined and to be consistent and to get the help uh, from your whatever bureaucracy institution that you need uh, to get help from or the support from um, there is going to be um, no way to go around that but there might be a way to change what it is that they require from you all right uh, if if that applies to you and if that resonates with you of course I'm just reading your in, you know, in a very wide way, because a question like how do I improve my current situation can apply to a whole range of matters in your life. And so this is, uh, yeah, I'm just speaking, just take what resonates with you, obviously, and leave the rest behind. All right, I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope that has helped you in some way and help your situation does get resolved, whatever it may be. All right, many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking the question, how do I improve my current situation? Okay, for those of you who've chosen the second option, we're asking the question, how do I improve my current situation? And some of the suggestions given here are that of uh, taking a trip, walking away from the situation, uh, getting assistance in terms of, of uh, solid, solidifying your decision. You may also need to uh, use a lawyer to be able to assist you in terms of determining what your rights are or what what is uh, possible for you to be able to clarify for you what what you need, as well as to defend you in a particular situation. The um, advice here is not to give in to flattery. It's not to give in to difficulties um, and to suggestions by others, which may lead you astray. So the cards here actually translate to trust or, or, or loyalty um, wedding, um, arise, uh, oh, sorry, that means uh, travel, and uh, a, a lawyer, like um, a lawyer who comes to your defense, and a um, and a flatterer. Okay, so I think that the way in which I'd read these cards is basically to say that here, um, if there is something that you're trying to do in your life, if there is something that you're trying to achieve at this moment in your life, like uh, creating a partnership with somebody, or actually getting married, or creating a business uh, with somebody or tr coming together with somebody to create a, a project or to complete a project and you are facing some kind of difficulty don't believe the one who's trying to tell you something that will make you feel good don't believe that try to actually uh, take a step back from the situation and uh, get somebody who actually can tell you uh, has a better insight into this perhaps an expert on the subject get somebody who's easily accessible who you can have to you uh, available to help you uh, shed a new light on this perspective and then be able to to make a decision later on or then be able to continue with that knowledge because right now it seems like somebody's pulling the wool over your eyes about something and the question here is of whether you know you do you trust this person are you loyal to this person are you able to um are you allowing yourself to have the wool pulled over your eyes because this person is 
is somebody that you trust and you have pot potentially have a, a good relationship with or you have loyalty to at, that, at a deeper level. So that is the, um, the, the one, one way of reading these cards. Another way of reading these cards is just to be able to, uh, you know, look at the fact that you you have this partnership and um, step away from the crowds or what other people have to say with regard to this partnership. Now, I'm talking about if you have a partnership with a loved one, if you're married, if you are in a business partnership, or potentially if you have a partnership with somebody at school that, or at university where you're doing a project with, with, with this person or in any kind of college, of course. But it's something where you are engaging with somebody else here. And the, the other way of reading this, as I was saying, is to be able to say, well, you know, you have this relationship already and you need to protect it. So why don't you just step away from the crowd and protect and uh, allow yourself to protect this relationship with this person and not worry about what others have to say. Because people might be saying things to just make you feel good and they might just be flattering you. They might just be saying something that actually doesn't really resonate, that doesn't really uh, isn't really what they truly think. Okay. The one thing I would advise you against here in this situation is n to not do anything. Okay. If you feel like you, you're you just going to rely on your trust, you're going to rely on what it is that you uh, have always done. And if you think that that is going to work out, it's not really going to work out because there's a lot more going on behind the scenes here which needs to be unraveled which needs to be understood and even if you don't understand it even if you don't have access to this kind of information uh, what is necessary for you is to be able to protect what is yours and I think that that is the the most important thing that's here that you need to protect what is yours and you need to be a little bit critical about what it is that is uh, coming your way and take the advice of someone who's trust who was trusted or somebody that you can't trust even if you need to pay them um, and and get their advice and see things from an outside perspective take a take a, a step away from the situation and if there is if you have been thinking of traveling this is a um a confirmation that you can go ahead and do that all right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's been helpful to you and I hope that helps you resolve your problem in some way. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are asking the question, how do I improve my current situation? How do I improve my current situation? So I don't read these cards uh, in the reverse position. Uh, however, I do channel the messages. And so if there is a reversed meaning that does come up, I will definitely share that with you. So for those of you who have chosen the third option here, um, the cards quite literally say that um, you need to t treat yourself with ten tenderness and um, with a little bit more softness, uh, with a little bit more um, understanding of how you are feeling at this moment. It suggests to you to steer away from any kind of uh, gossip or any kind of discussion about th your situation, which might lead to nowhere. You know, if you might just be chatting with people, with friends, uh, whoever, just to be able to get this, this worry or this anxiety off your chest and just to be able to find a solution, they, the advice is that that isn't going to really help. It's more like you're just almost... Um, almost wasting time, almost wasting time trying to get a particular reaction, have, find a solution in the wrong places. All right. Uh, the card suggests here that you you go in the path of pleasure. What makes you happy? You know, tenderness and pleasure. What brings you pleasure? What brings you lightness of being? The only way the situation is going to be improved if you actually engage in lightness of being. There is this acknowledgement here that you do need advice, that you do need to be able to work through the issues that you have, through the difficulties that you may have. If you're mourning, if you've experienced some kind of loss, and if that is what's occupying your mind right now, and you need to be able to talk to someone about it, 
to be able to seek professional advice or to seek someone who's ha- who has the intention and the goal of helping you come out of your situation and not keep you in that mindset which is debilitating you or could be debilitating you or not necess- if it's not debilitating you then perhaps it's just not to your benefit there's a sense here that uh, once again i just want to repeat that uh, tenderness is necessary there's this need for gentleness with yourself uh, to be to be a bit softer with how you manage yourself how you treat yourself and and what you do with yourself and and not to find solutions in lay people around you in just talking to people around you but rather to seek the professionals when it comes to to whatever it is that wherever it is that you feel that you need help wherever it is that you feel that you may have experienced a loss all right and then I think that more uh, importantly, above all of everything here, there's a really important message to be able to allow pleasure back into your life, to be able to allow more pleasure into your life and to be able to relish in that pleasure, to be able to keep yourself in that vibration of pleasure and just joy and not to constantly um, be be um, fighting with yourself or with the situation around you uh, or bemoaning that which you have already and so that is the advice here of how to improve your current situation to sum it up it is to be more tender with yourself to invite more pleasure into your life and to stay in a vibration of pleasure to seek advice from professionals where it may be needed to be able to overcome any Uh, difficulty or loss that you might have experienced and not to engage in gossip or simple idle chit chat with regard to your situation because that is not going to further you um, or help you or benefit you in any way all right so that is the message here for those of you who have chosen the option number three I hope that does help you and I hope that this short and sweet message can help you on your day and as you go ahead all right all the best to you for those of you who've chosen the option number four we're asking the question how do i improve my current situation so what is it that i can do what action steps can i take in order to alleviate the current situation that i'm in whatever that may be it could be any any amount of things uh, at all it could be it could be in any area of your life All right, so for those of you who chosen the option number four, um, it, the question is, how do I improve my current situation? Now, obviously, this could um, apply to a range of different situations, and so the, these readings are going to be quite light, quite uh, general, quite vague, but they will speak to you in the way that you need it to. All right, so let's get into it. So what I'm seeing here is that you might be involved in your thoughts quite a bit, and you might be... Um, thinking about something that has happened or somebody something that somebody has said it might be influencing you it could be that your reputation is at stake it could be that somebody is thinking about you in a way that you do not approve of or you are that upsets you and so you are here at this situation where this is causing you some degree of stress some degree of uh, um, worry this may need not be the case that is just an example of what you may be experiencing um what i see here is that there's somebody older who's uh or a little bit they could be somebody who's older or somebody who comes across as older somebody who's a little bit stale a little bit fixed in their ways um a little could be a bit domineering and that is in this picture that is uh, almost saying well you know this is how you should do things or this is what you should be doing and this causes you quite a lot of thinking it causes you quite a lot of thought and makes you worry a bit 
I feel here that in order to improve the situation, that you need to be able to bring others into the environment, to bring others into it and to have fun while you resolve whatever situation you have at hand. It's not going to go away just by itself. It's going to need the help of more than one person. And you don't need to listen to one person who... Uh, whose advice is been, has been annoying you, has been making you feel a bit uncomfortable, it's not resonating with you, what you can do is you can actually just involve a few other people in this and get some help from each of them uh, because that is what's going to be the solution to this uh, problem. And care not too much about what other people are saying about you or what other people are are thinking about the situation and I feel here that there's also a need to um, give thanks to some somebody to give thanks to uh, or, or gi send somebody a note saying that you're thinking of them there is somebody that you need to reach out to and that you need to send a message to and whether you do it with a little card or a note or a text message or whatever an email it doesn't really matter but there is a, uh, somebody that you need to be reaching out to, to be saying that these are your thoughts, this is what you think about the situation, and um, and do it in a pleasant way. You're not going to be uh, aggressive towards them or antagonistic towards them, but rather that you know, you're know you going to just write them a sweet little card telling them how you feel about everything. And then there's one other thing here, that card, it might not be that, it could also be that you're just giving thanks to people at the end of them helping you, um, a sweet little note to everyone to say how much you appreciate them. That could be what it is that would, um, it would bring great joy to them and it would actually uh, alleviate your concerns uh, in whichever way it is. I think the 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 people that are talking about you or maybe you you or you think are talking about you it could be that nobody is talking about you at all but uh that you think that you know they will think about you in a particular way or or the other i think that you know you can't really have control over what people think of you and you're not really you can't really ever be sure about what people think about you and the idea here is that you need to just not worry about that. You need to turn yourself away from that. And, and it's really none of your business what they're saying about you, even if they are speaking about you. And um, you can't really allow that to influence you in any way because it's not going to be to your benefit. It's not going to help you in any way. It's not going to be uh, productive in any sense of the word. And so the uh, the advice given here is to step back from somebody who might be domineering, who might be trying to push their agenda on you or trying to force you to do something that you perhaps don't want to do. It's to engage other people in to assist you and to help you right now with all of this. It's to thank them perhaps with a sweet little note or some gesture that lets them know that you are thankful for what they have offered and it's to uh, not care too much about what other people have to say about this and not engage in, in their gossip or not care about what they might be saying. And to, to keep your thoughts to yourself as well. I think that's also a note here, to keep your thoughts to yourself. And then, and then also at a certain point when things are resolved, not to continue to dwell upon it or think about it. It's not going to be um, helpful for you. You just need to ultimately, when it's resolved, to let go of it uh, like immediately and just move on with your life. All right. So that's the message that I have for you. For those of you who've chosen the option number four, I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you some kind of guidance as to how to deal with the current situation that you are uh, dealing with. And I wish you well on your way. And for those of you who've uh, chosen the fifth option, we're asking the question, how do I improve my current situation? What can I do to improve my current situation? So for those of you who've chosen the option number five, it seems here that there's more than one person involved in your life right now, which have something to do with this current situation. And um, one of the things that they are 
are referring to here are is a sincere person, um, somebody who's who you can trust or loyalty, uh, somebody who's loyal towards you, uh, somebody who's perhaps widowed uh, recently. As well as uh, wealth, they talk uh, the card. There's card of wealth as and uh, a sweet card or a sweet note, and so I would say that um, you know, in order to improve your current situation, you need to be able to uh, put your trust in somebody who is sincere towards you, who is loyal towards you, and who's willing to make sacrifices uh, for you. Now, for each of you, this will differ. It could be somebody who is older. It could be somebody who's recently experienced a loss in their life. It could be somebody who's been a friend for a very long time, but you've had a falling out with, and they've now come back into your life um, just with a simple a gesture or a note that they've made or that you've made. It could be somebody who's been watching you for a while and and watching you as you've been struggling through this dilemma and they're willing to help and they're willing to extend a hand and uh, they've actually extended a hand already but um you have refused it you've refused their wealth i mean their help sorry the the card wealth is here and it talks about how you can benefit quite a lot materially from the situation and how you can uh, swing it to your advantage and so i think it's definitely necessary for you to take a look at how it is that you can uh, turn the situation into one that benefits you materially financially and increases your wealth uh, substantially there is a situation here where you could do that with the help of people who you trust who are sincere and who are willing to sacrifice something who are willing to give up something um, in order to to help you with this and there's also a sense here that um, these people may be uh, women or they may have some kind of feminine energy. Uh, they they represent uh, the feminine uh, energy around you. They, it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man who's quite effeminate uh, or however one identifies. So uh, there is um, a sense here also that uh, that, the, that the wealth that is accrued is something that others are going to be having access to or looking at and not you yourself like it's like whatever you do um it's others are, are benefiting from it more so if you're a singer perhaps and you you're creating some music it's your producers who are going going to be making more money from this than you um and you know it's it's the others who are going to be benefiting a lot more and so there is a sense here that you can negotiate so that you can have more of that wealth because it does belong to you and you have uh, the right to it. You have the, yeah, you have the right to it. Now, I don't know who that message is going to resonate with, but um, think of it in terms of your own situation and see if it does apply to you. There is also a sense here that um, there might have been some kind of estrangement between you and somebody it might have been that you haven't spoken to each other for a long time or that you've just gone in different directions for whatever reason. But right now there's a new possibility that comes up and they are uh, making an offer to you which can actually benefit you greatly. It might not be materially. It might be that it gives you a lot of experience, this offer that they're making you and that it helps you benefit uh, in your life. It helps you move ahead in your life and not have to look back and, and begin a new phase of your life, begin something new in your life. So if somebody is making an offer to you in the recent weeks, um, in the upcoming weeks, or has already made an offer to you, think about it uh, quite openly. Consider it. It might be something that will really um, elevate your life station and help you to enjoy your life a lot more. And you can trust in this person. They are not going to harm you. They are not going to hurt you. They don't have other intentions. However, the people... There are people who will try to benefit from you and profit from you and from what your achievements have been. And this is where you need to remain wary uh, given the situation that you have at at, at your disposal. Um, I want to say here that there's some other there's another notion here that there might be somebody who's recently divorced, somebody who's recently widowed, somebody who's recently broken up with their um, partner or with their family, estranged themselves from their family. This person is also in the picture. They also seem to want to assist in some way or form or they're watching you. They're holding the space for you. Um, you can also 
you know, be aware of this person and and consider them as well and and you use their assistance. You know, if they're offering some kind of assistance, use that. Go ahead with that. But I think that there's more than one person in in this uh, these set of cards that are coming towards you and want to be wanting to assist you. You might. Uh, somebody who's listening to this right now might think, ah, you know, that's not true. I don't have anyone actually there. But um, if you look closely or if you um, you watch carefully, you're going to see that that's going to come up for you in the next days. And it's going to be quite um, uh, clear to you who is there and who is willing to help you and who isn't also. But I think here yeah, that you might have an opposing point of view. I think that there's a chance that there's somebody uh, who might be critical of the decisions that you've made and the way in which you're going about it. Don't worry about it. Um, it's part of the course. You're going to have other people around you who are actually uh, supporting you in what you're doing and um, are not going to be critical of what you're doing. They're going to respect your choices, etc. And don't don't worry so much about people who are critical of you or don't respect your choices that is largely to do with their own um, difficulty and uh, perspective it has nothing to do with you so you go ahead make the choices that you need to make that are going to be enriching you and uh, and your cause and move ahead with that and don't let yourself be um, kind of swayed by opinions or be demoralized I'm sorry, be demoralized, excuse me, I don't know why I can't say that word. Yeah, be demoralized by the by whatever else and whatever other information is coming your way. All right, trust your intuition and go with this one. Trust um, the loyalty that you have in some people. And if somebody's given you an indication that they have some kind of um, negative um, reaction towards you or your or, or your decisions that you've made previously and they're critical of that, then understand where they're coming from and just uh, don't engage uh, too much, you know, just just let it be um, because I think that what you need right now are people who are going to support you in order to improve your current situation all right so I'm going to leave it there I hope that you have a lovely uh, day ahead and um, wishing you many blessings on your way blessings abound from Kesmet Rising